when performing a lateral lumbar spine, again, you will be using a 14 by 17 lengthwise or portrait, but your collimation will be 14 inches long by 8 inches wide, which is the exact same collimation that you use for your AP. This setup here is to show you that there's plenty of room to include the entire spine with 8 inches wide. As you can see, the light field posterior, I've got lots of room from the posterior border of the IR, or the collimated border to the spine, and the same thing with the anterior portion. There is plenty of room. Now, the rule for markers is that you place your markers in the anterior position. So I will place a left marker, since this is a left lateral, I'm going to place my marker anteriorly above the midline just to make sure that it's not going to be superimposed by any anatomy. Now, make sure when you're doing the lateral that you find the top of the crest and you center an inch to an inch and a half above the top of the iliac crest, which is what I have here, which is actually at approximately the middle of L3. So as you can see, there's the collimated border includes plenty of anatomy. If you're going to shield, you want to place the shield, this would be shielding for a female, from the ASIS back toward the, sorry about that, back to the coccyx like this. If you placed your marker down here in this general vicinity, your marker would not show if you are shielding your patient. And you should be shielding your patient. That's it.